from Australia, Series 1, Episode 6, Brom's New Girlfriend. It was Brom's day of exploring Tasman Sobo. He was Bromming to find the fillies when he saw them. They were busy. Hello, you see. What are you doing? asked Brom. We're doing the history work of Rocky Point, giving it a Canterlot Castle. Our country hasn't met him. We can't go on a date with you. Oh, you've read my mind. I wasn't thinking of that. Well, what are you thinking? Twilight Sparkle. I'd like to give her something like this book by E. Nesbitt. He showed them the book. That's nice. Good luck with her. He came to Twilight's house, just as she came out. Hello, Brown. Hello, Twilight. I got something for you. What is it? Have a look in the back seat. Twilight did, and had a surprise. It was the Railway Children, one of the classic adventure books ever to be made in 1906. Hmm, that's nice. Where did you find it? I found it at the model writer's house. He finished reading it, and he asked me to give it to you. Twilight was having some thoughts when she took the book and put it away. Brown is such a sweet little car. I think I'll ask him on a date. Um. Can I come with you to Margate? Sure thing. What were you wanting to do? I, I was wondering if you would come on a date with me. I finished with doing my good sorting. Brum was surprised. He'd never been on a date with Twilight before. Well, I can take you to the play group. I rest in the car part. Come on, men. They set off together. They came to the shop, went in the play group, and then rested in the car part. Brum showed her the hose. It had a tub. Twilight had a bath. She felt dirty from pulling the weeds out of the garden patch. My shower tree wasn't full of water when I wanted a bath in it. Then he took her to a preschool. It always said morning to Bram. Good morning, Bram. Twilight had never visited preschool before, let alone it was only for humans. I used to visit a preschool and I wanted to learn about country history. That was when I moved to Ponyville, had years there. 
with learning and I got the wings. Said I'm not Celestia's student. Things have to change and your castle was a new house. I know. They came to a cafe at the beach. Twilight began to tell Brum about her surprising time. When we used to live in Equestria, I had this book called Whistle at the Bridge by Jean Thorne. It got me wanting to learn about Australia we live in. The engine we made friends with was we Georgie Ward. He showed us his railway in Tunner, Sheffield, where another railway called, what is it, Redwater Creek. We went through Devonport, where a big ship was docked. That was the spirit of Tasmania. The journey ended in Sloping Maine. He showed us a house. Years later, I became a princess, and I still read Whistle at the Bridge book. We Georgia was taking the trucks to a mine to take some coal to give to his village. He had a bit of trouble, so we whistled for help. Help! Oh, father! Go faster! I don't want to go this faster! Ouch! My brakes! Uh, can I? Use your brakes! Use your brakes! I can't! My big box broke! They're falling out! Let me get at the back! Father than Papa! Papa broke on my leg! I need to slowly dodge it down! Uh, right, mate! Oops! Oh no! Try again! Don't! I'm coming off the line! <coughs> of course I'm not trying to don't just look at my wreck. Get help! Come on! Oh. I tried to help him, who failed to slow him down. He came off the line. One minute he was upright. The next, he was on his side. What did you do? I was to help him get mended with Spike's help. He could light his fire. Our last days came and we moved to Tasman's cell door. Wow! Who wrote the book before the model writer was asked to make the film? Well, it was me. I wrote it and gave him the idea. I still remember when taking Spike, singing the Wombling song. Here's your food, madam. Thank you. Oh, that's familiar. Burgers and chips. It looks nice. Mmm, tastes the same. Try not to get a tummy ache. Oh yeah, I remember when I ate too many chocolate slices. Oh, I don't feel well. 
Sandwich, cried out Mickey. What have you been eating? Chocolate slices, sunshine. Oh. Very much, my lad. I thought I could find you. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know they were yours. Hmm. You got yourself sick from eating too many chocolate slices. You're lucky you didn't get sick. Serves you right for being a bit peckish, cheeky. I never do that. Come on, I need to get home. I finished my lunch. When she finished, they went back to sleeping me. Well, they went home because it was getting late. This is where I live. There's a bed for you. It looks nice. Oh, I can living for small something. I'm glad I asked for sleepover. Night then. Night. I love you. What did you say? Twilight only blushed when she just said something nice to him. I... I... I love you, Bram. Bram was surprised. Twilight loved him. And she gave him a kiss on the brood. Uh, oh, I... Uh, love you too, Twilight. Hello, Bram. What have you got? Hello, Betty. I've got Twilight. She's sleeping in her own bed. Oh, yeah, my driver put it there. He knew she would have a sleepover. They talked before sleeping. You know, Bram, said Twilight. I've been thinking. It's nice living on Tasman's show door. I didn't tell you we were wing sisters, Rainbow and I, when we lived in Equestria. Look at my wings. They're useful and I can fly all right. I'm when I get them on me. Lucky. I found this box of chocolates. Oh, where did you get them? Did you get them for me? I did, yes. When I went to the chocolate shop. Thanks. Mm. Love the taste. Next morning, Twilight was the first to wake up Bram. She gave him a wet rubbing on the wheel. Morning, Bram. Like your morning bath? Morning, Twilight. That was nice. I was needing to get home when we couldn't last night go there. Come on. You need the good sort of... So off they went. When they got there, Applejack was waiting. Morning, Twilight. 
morning, Applejack. Just in time for my bed. I was told from your letter you were dating Bram and having a sleepover. How was it? It's nice. He gave me a bed. Common enough. Best apple but these apples. They're the last ones to be taken down. Brum went off to explore Sloping Main. When the end of the day came, he met Twilight. Our date went well. Yes, it did, Brum. I do hope you live here some day. She gave him the same kiss. Brum laughed. Bye then, I'll never forget that. <laughs> Thank you.